We are standing here in Kutapalong Mega Camp, where over 700,000 refugees live. This represents one of the largest refugee camps in the world today. Two years ago, hundreds of thousands of refugees fled targeted violence across the border. Most of the refugees are living in these types of basic shelters made of bamboo and plastic. The fact that they live so close to each other in such crowded spaces means that the risk of spreading contagious diseases is quite high. Here are some of the many makeshift latrines that families have created near their shelters. Some of the work that MSF does is trying to clean and empty the latrines so people can continue to use them in a dignified manner. Two years on, the needs are just as big, but sadly, the world's attention has moved on to the next crisis. MSF has been here for the last 10 years, and we know what reduced services look like. We know what lack of actors in this space looks like. And while ongoing assistance is needed in Bangladesh, it is important to remember that the origins of this crisis happened across the border in Myanmar. The international community needs to continue supporting Bangladesh, but at the same time, they need to redouble their diplomatic efforts in Myanmar to improve the conditions in Rakhine State, to end discrimination, and to ensure that any return is done in a voluntary, safe, and dignified manner for the Rohingya refugees.